Hey Real World Climbers, it's me Josh, back with another video. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be retexturing climbing holds. So if you watch a bunch of my previous videos, you've probably already met my friend Jack. He has helped me build this wall here, as well as he's a friend of mine that we met online. And he also has a home wall nearby so we climb regularly together and he is a moonboard aficionado just like myself so a while back Jack built a second moonboard outside an adjustable wall and so he put his 2017 moonboard set out there and he had his 2016 set inside but we needed the whites and the black moonboard holds to add to the collection supply was pretty low and timeline for getting holds is a long time from over in England from the moon company so I was able to locate somebody that was selling a used set of both the white and the black they were in good condition but they're pretty polished so I'm implementing a solution that I've used in years past I used skateboard grip tape along the arets of my walls before to add like a textured feel and make it like able to bump up the arete and so it worked really really well and I really like that and so I had an idea on how to retexture these holds using skateboard grip tape. So come on up the ladder with me and I'll show you what I mean. So right here I have one of the top line holds for the moon board 2016 setup and it was really polished on the top. So, you know, going for it when you're at the top of the climb, you know, 12 something feet up, woo, would have been quite spicy with a slippery hold. And so, this is the original texture right here, and if you can see that, I've got some black skateboard grip tape up there as well. It doesn't work as well on like the rounded edges, but all of the flat edges has been working really, really well. So I've got a few holds done already, including this white one here, and I actually found some clear grip tape as well, so that it even maintains the color of the original holds. That's what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you a little bit about my process and how we're doing that. So. Let's get after it. All right, so now we're inside. These are the tools and materials that we're gonna use for this project. So I've got the two different kinds of grip tape here. I've found this clear stuff right here and the traditional black. I've got a kitchen shears. They seem to be better than using a razor blade and they are a little bit heavier duty than a regular pair of scissors. A Sharpie or a pen or really anything. And then my two different kinds of holds. So obviously I'm going to use the black grip tape for the black holds and then the clear grip tape for the white holds. So let's do a few of these and I'll show you how it works. All right, so we're going to start with this black one right here. Really the only face that's needed for the 2016 setup here is this top face here. And so that's the only one I'm going to do. And it really helps when it's a nice flat edge. Those are the really easy ones. So take my sheet of grip tape and just flip it over on the back. And then I just literally lay it down on the face that I want to be used. And what I'm doing here as I do this is I'm gonna leave a little bit of extra lip of the grip tape that can fold around the back of the hold. And so when I screw this hold onto the wall, it'll really help hold that grip tape in place as a little extra feature there. So, all right, so now I'm just gonna trace around the outside here. So there's my outline. Now I'll grab the shears and just cut it out. So now that I got the shape and the hold, I just can peel off the back. So I left a little bit of uh, edge here so I can roll that over here. So I'm really I'm gonna start pressing it in place up there on that edge. And I found that that helps minimize the number of wrinkles. And then I'll flatten it down the flat side. So it gets good and tight there. And then I'll fold that back 
edge behind the hold. A little bit of overlap, but I just snip that off. And then I just kind of work it in there really good. And then another thing that I found, if there's some edges that really need to just be kind of form fit is using a blow dryer on the hot heat and blow, blow dry and it helps to kind of make it malleable and really helps to roll those edges. But I really want to make sure that the adhesive is connecting and then just press it in there. So that is a new textured hold. So let's try a white one next. All right, so this one is one of the white ones. So I'm gonna use the clear tape. And again, it's mostly just used on this one flat side. It's got a little angle here. So, and then I want this to kind of roll over the front. It's kind of a nice rounded curve there. So I do want it to come to probably all the way out to here. So as I draw this one, I'm gonna start it here and roll it over this way to get my line that I want. And roll it up like this. This one makes it look like it's a lot deeper, but that's just because it's rolling over. So we'll go ahead and cut that one out. All right, so now I've got my piece here, and I'm just gonna peel it back off again. Make sure I get my right edge here. So I'm pressing it all in there, and I'm still getting a couple of ripples here on the curves. So I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I got a little ripple there. And so on some of those curves, so you can't take something that's flat like this grip tape here and then go around a curve and have it be 100% flush. And so with this little ripple here, then what I do for that is I'm just going to take this razor blade and just trim it right along that line on both sides trying not to cut myself and that little tiny little triangle that I just cut out there will then be closed in by the rest of the tape as I press it down so that's just one way to take out little ripples and then like I said before if you really wanted to make it malleable you can use a hair dryer and warm it all up and then work it in this seems to be working good. So again, I've got a little bit of a overhang edge here. So I'll just trim that off. So now we got a white one and a black one. So I'll go ahead and spare you the boringness of watching me do each and every one of these. I've got quite a few left in this box that I need to do still, but why don't we jump forward to see the finished product on the wall. All right, so we're back out here and now we're ready to put it on the wall. This one goes right here. And we're gonna install it, and give it a try. All right, let's give it a whirl, see how good it is. I like it. It's a little bit more abrasive than the yellow, but the whites when they were brand new were a little bit more abrasive than yellow to begin with. And it's probably a little bit more abrasive than the starting texture, but I know that it will wear down over time. So hopefully you like this video and I found it helpful. I'm all about finding unique solutions and skateboard grip tape has been helpful to me in the past, so that's why I wanted to give this a whirl. And I think it's really gonna be helpful in the long run. If you're new here, go ahead and clip the chains on that subscribe button, and that way I'll see you in future videos.